All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to clean your engine bay quickly and easily. Let's begin. All right, so first of all, you're gonna to wanna to know what items you're gonna to need to clean your engine bay. Okay, first of all, you're gonna want brushes, like a toothbrush, a wire brush, or you could use a sponge. If you have any other brushes, that's fine. This is all I have right now, so that's what I'm gonna use. You're probably also gonna want some sort of wipes. I'm using Clorox wipes. Possibly a bucket of some sort, a bunch of microfibers, any type of plastic bags like grocery bags so you can cover up through your battery, alternator, distributor, fuses, and all that. Also tape just so that the bags don't fly away and they're secure. Also very important, you're going to want some sort of soap and a bottle to spray it with. This is the only one I have and I'm going to put the soap in here so I can spray on the engine bay. You really don't want to hose down your engine bay because it might damage it so it's best to use a spray bottle to spray it down and then wipe it down with some microfibers. Some optional things are tools so you can take out the battery and a light source like these. So first of all you guys are going to want to dust it off or anything, clean it off with a vacuum or a microfiber. And my engine bay is not too dirty because I cleaned it like three weeks ago but it's collected a bit of dust so I'm gonna just clean it off with some microfiber and maybe use a little bit of vacuum. Alright so very important uh, you're gonna want to cover your alternator, your distributor, you're gonna probably want to take off your battery or cover it really good and the fuses and you don't want to get water into your fuel injectors or spark plugs so cover those really good and don't spray water into those. Okay so right now I'm gonna vacuum it, take off most of the dirt that I can right now Right now I have it on the blowing setting, just so it blows out off all the dirt. Okay, next you guys are going to want to cover up your engine, all the sensitive and important parts, cover them up with some sort of plastic and use tape to keep it secure. I forgot to mention, but make sure you guys cover up your air filter, you don't want any water getting into there. Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like. I covered the alternator, the distributor, I'll forget the air filter also, and the battery in the fuse box. Under the, that, I put a few microfibers so they absorb some of the water so they don't fall in there. And that's basically it. Now what you're going to want to do is spray it down with some soap and water and wipe it down. Now during this process, it'd be safe to use a uh, spray bottle, that's what I used, and I also used a hose to hose down some of the bigger parts of the engine. But whenever using the hose, make sure you don't get any water into any sensors, fuel injectors, or anything like that. When you're cleaning some of the more sensitive parts of the engine or harder to reach parts, try using a brush and spraying it with some water to free up some of the dirt and then clean it up with the microfiber. Sorry about that guys, my phone died while I was recording the time lapses, but right now it's nighttime and I'll go over the engine bait, more, much better. 
and I'll show you guys before and after pictures. two days later and I'm about to start the car right now all right see so I dried up and it should be good to go now let's go for a ride If you guys found this video helpful please leave a like subscribe and thank you for watching